we bounce off each other really well. I met Bree, when was it? I think it was for Tinder actually. <laughs> he very much keeps me grounded. Sometimes I want to murder him, like 90% of the time. Probably best above all is an amazing dad. <laughs> he will de-stress me in any situation, so especially about the wedding, that I can be very stressed and he will just kind of bring me back to reality. <laughs> We've been planning it together. <laughs> She's trying to take over a little bit. <laughs> so I can tell, tell me what I can wear and what I can't wear and choose my colours. I've already got my colours picked. So. Aren't you close to me, close to me? If I don't see any glimpse of tears when I walk down that aisle, I'll turn around and we will do it until someone makes you cry. Your honesty would throw me around. It took me by surprise, but I don't mind anymore. So I propose she was working, I had the day off and bought them blow up blooms that say, will you marry me? And then blew them up and had roses and everything. And then when she came home from work and opened up the door, the kids and all that were with me saying, will you marry me? us finally getting our goals met. I think because we have the family, we have the house, because I think we've always had these little steps. So I think now that we have everything and it's in place, we can finally, as a family, start to enjoy our future. My heart's gonna be racing. I'm so nervous for this whole wedding already. I hope I don't cry. I'm excited that we'll finally be husband and wife and I'll have the same last name as them. I reckon she'll cry when she's walking down the aisle. She sees us all dressed up and all that behind us. But I'll look like a softy in front of all my mates. We'll probably both end up crying, I reckon. We can't wait to see you at the wedding. Is your dad handsome? No. No. He's not? No. Don't tell. I love you, Dad.